Hello everyone. In this session, we will be discussing eigenvectors and eigenvalues. Importance of understanding eigenvectors and eigenvalues is immense. In quantum mechanics, all measurements are done using eigenvalues and eigenvectors. The time-independent Schrodinger equation is an eigenvalue equation. Markov's chain convergence process also uses eigenvalues and eigenvectors. The list can be literally endless here. In case you're not sure what these terms stand for, worry not. We will get into we will get into these concepts in under advanced mathematics section. Something much easier to understand will be we all want to be eigenvectors. Last time when I started the explanation of vectors, I said we all want to be vector quantities internally. That is we want magnitude and direction. But mostly we are all scalars, that is we all have the potential, which is magnitude, but no direction. To extend this further, it's safe to say that we are all striving to be eigenvectors, and that is why it is important to study them. An important equation associated with eigenvectors is right here in front of you. Here A is matrix or the function v is my eigenvector, lambda is my eigenvalue, and v is my eigenvector on the right-hand side as well. So what is so great about this equation? This equation simply means that when a transformation is performed on an eigenvector v, it's only multiplied by a scalar lambda value, and there's no change in the direction. Wait, what? Did you just say an eigenvector is a vector whose direction does not change when you pass the vector through a function? Yes, that's precisely what I said. And that is why we all have to be eigenvectors. No matter what the situation is in life, the situations that we are presented with is obviously different functions. We have to keep moving. We have to keep moving in the right direction. So Obviously, we should have figured out our directions, but once we have figured it out, we should always keep going in that direction, no matter what the situation is. And the situation in our day-to-day -day life, in mathematical terms, becomes function. So, so you see, that is why it is important to study eigenvectors and eigenvalues. So a mental image for eigenvectors should be a vector, something like this. It's just a vector, some set of values. And then you put it inside some function f of x. And then the output that you get back is a vector which is still in the same direction. I'm sorry, it just messed up a little, but this vector is still pretty much in the same direction. It's only the magnitude which has changed. Either it can be a little more bigger or it can be a little more smaller or it can be of the same size with no change, but it's just the length or the magnitude of the vector has changed, that is, it has been multiplied with the scalar lambda, but the direction is still the same. All right, so this is the mental picture for eigenvectors. So this vector is the vector. When you pass it through any function, it will still have the same direction. However, the magnitude will change, and the change in magnitude is called as the eigenvalue represented in the form of lambda. This is all that you need to keep in mind as far as eigenvectors and eigenvalue is concerned. So let's look at the definition real quick. An eigenvector is a vector that does not change direction in a transformation, but can change the length. So in a transformation, that is when you apply a function to this vector, it's only changing the length, but it's not changing the direction. Let A be an n cross n matrix. An eigenvector of A is a non-zero vector V in Rn such that AV equals lambda V for some scalar lambda. We've already seen this equation. So A is my transformation function here. V is my eigenvector. When it has been passed to this transformation function, you get back the vector intact. The direction is still the same. However, the the magnitude has been changed with the scalar value lambda. An eigenvalue of A is a scalar, sorry, 
I beg your pardon, an eigenvalue of a is a scalar lambda such that the equation a v equals lambda v has a non-trivial solution. So it always has to have a non-trivial solution. Let's take an example real quick and understand what exactly a non-trivial solution is, which is two important points. Yeah, so an eigen eigenvalues and eigenvectors are only for squared matrices, and we will discuss why this case holds true. And then eigenvectors are by definition non-zero. Eigenvalues may be equal to zero. It's pretty obvious. If it's a vector, it has to have some values. It just cannot be a zero vector, right? It is supposed to have some set of values. But then eigenvalue, your scalar factor lambda can, can be a zero value. Let's take an example here. So we have a two cross two matrix here. The vector is one over one and my lambda function lambda value is 2 and 1. So as per our equation, a multiplied with v should be equal to lambda multiplied with v, correct? So let's multiply a with v. That is, we are performing a transformation on our vector with the help of this matrix value. So I multiplied this minus 6 multiplied by 1 plus 3 multiplied by 4. And then in the next row, 4 multiplied by 1 plus 5 multiplied by 4. This is this is 6 and 24. So it's minus 6 plus 12, which is positive 6 and 24. I can take the 6 out and then this is 1 and 4. Because when you multiply 1 with 6, it becomes 6. And when you multiply 4 with 6, it becomes 24. So this condition has been satisfied. Now let's take the right hand side of the equation where we take the vector and multiply it with the scalar lambda value. In this case, lambda equals 6 and the vector value v is 1 and 4. So it's pretty much the same. Since the left hand side of the equation a v equals the right hand side of the equation lambda v, that means the vector v, which is 1 and 4, is actually an eigenvector. And eigenvalue lambda is 6 in this case, right? So this is pretty much it as far as eigenvectors and eigenvalue is concerned. I hope it made sense, gave us a mental picture of what exactly an eigenvector is. Just to give a quick recap, an eigenvector is a vector whose direction is not changing when you're passing the vector through a function. However, its length can change, that is there might be a change in the magnitude and the change in magnitude equals lambda value which is also called as the eigenvalue. So when we dive deeper into advanced mathematics and quantum mathematical models. I will touch this topic again. And when we are studying computer vision problems, I will be touching this topic again. But for now, all we need to know about eigenvectors and eigenvalue is sorted. So if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch, to get in touch with me through the website or drop in your comments. And yeah, thank you so much.